guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about mistakes that you can avoid getting into DIY. If you're new here, my name is April, and uh, this is my DIY channel where we do a lot of furniture builds, home decor, and other fun like room makeovers and you name it you know we do a lot of fun things here i'm not considering myself a professional diyer i make a lot of mistakes i learn how to fix them that's why i'm here so you're not gonna make those mistakes so listen carefully let's get started and the first thing i would like to talk to you about is like that some people they think that you know, like they need to have a fully loaded workshop you know like to actually start DIYing or building furniture and let me tell you you actually don't in fact you only need a couple of power tools you know like if you want to start like some simple builds and uh, you can build it from there the key here is to start because so many people they actually like continue procrastinate and they continue postponing that moment of actually trying to build something till the better days. I'm pretty sure you have those people in your life, you know, like who is trying to start working out, but they kind of feel that before they start working out, they need to buy all this expensive workout clothes and they spend so much time and so much money on working out clothes. And then in the end, the clothes end up laying down, you know, like not being used. And guess what? The people never actually get to work out. So don't be those people. Don't think that tools is the most important thing in your furniture builds. Don't get me wrong. Tools are important. They are. But my tip to you would be to not go crazy and just start small and building your tool collection as you go. The best way to do it would be probably to choose a project that you need for your house, right? And then find a plan. If you get the plan, you know, like the, you're gonna have the full list of materials, you know, like full list of tools and uh, all the necessary details that you need to know about that build. There's a bunch of websites, you know, like that sell plans or like they offer them for free. You can find on my website a lot of free plans and you can also purchase some of them online where I have like the whole list of tools that you need. And based on that tool, you can see, okay, fine. I need a drill. I need a miter saw. I need a sander. I don't need anything else for this project. So what's the point to buy something else? And then when you've done with this project, and you start another one and you're like okay fine so what i need to buy for this project and this is how you build your tool collection so don't go crazy don't think that you need to have a fully loaded workshop to actually start doing some projects you don't no yeah start simple start small and uh grow from there it's so funny because i remember my first ever project that i started and it was a montessori floor house but that i built for my daughter like a couple of years ago and uh the only power tools that i had at that point were miter saw I had a power drill, I had a sender, and I had a grand crack jack. So I kind of feel that this four tools are the most important for beginners. That was all what I need. And then slowly I built the collection over time. And now I do, yeah, I do have a bunch of awesome tools. So let's talk about another mistake that you can avoid, but it's so hard to avoid, I have to say. I'm guilty of it all the time. It is underestimating how much time it's gonna take you to finish a certain project. I could apply it to furniture building, to like any decor projects, like to absolutely anything. I don't know how our minds work, you know, like and how our brains are wired in that sense, but somehow we always like look at the outcome in the more positive way than it's going to be. Whatever time I usually plan for projects, I end up like spending Thing. probably twice as much at least any tic tacs later so for example when i was making this uh one of my last projects the antique mirror i really thought that i'm gonna finish the whole thing you know like in probably three hours well guess what it took me probably uh over an hour two hours like to for paint to dry and then i spent i don't know like three to four hours applying the gold leaf and since i was like doing this the first time you know like i had no idea it's gonna take me so long if you're like a new to diy and if you're a beginner diy like always be more kind to yourself and give yourself so much more time than it's probably gonna take because this way you're gonna avoid all this frustration and uh, anger that you're gonna have with yourself so my tips for this mistake would be be generous with your time and uh, with the time that you give yourself for the certain project also make a list of uh, tools and materials that you need and prepare all the materials before you start the project and then you can sit down and put step by step and see like how much approximately is it gonna take you can also make a sketch you know like of uh, whatever build you're building but i would highly recommend if you're starting over use someone else's plans you know like so where everything is like laid down for you if you're building some furniture right so the next thing is and i don't want to disappoint you but mistake will happen no matter what 
So don't be disappointed and learn how to deal with them gracefully. If it happens in the best in the industry, it's definitely gonna happen to you. Just accept this fact as of now and live with it basically. Don't panic, don't curse, don't smash anything. Fine, fine. If you want to, you can do all of the above. Okay, so if everything goes wrong, you can't find a solution right away. I would like suggest you know, like to take a step back and you know, like to actually leave for a couple of days, evaluate the situation, get some rest, you know, like just stop thinking about it. And I'm sure this like solution gonna come to you. Just drop everything and leave. Just leave and just like leave it. Be come back the next day, pick it up where you left it because most likely you're just gonna ruin it all. And uh, yeah, you know I'm gonna do anything good. I'm leaving. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I mean, there's Google, there's YouTube videos. I mean, you can always like YouTube it and see where it all went wrong, you know, like, and how you can fix it. Or you can call a friend. Or if you want, you can always text me, you know, like, and DM me and I'm gonna answer your questions. I mean, if I know the answer. Of course. <laughs> so please don't be discouraged. DIY is a great learning ground for problem solving. So it's good for you in the long run, in life. But let's get to the next one. So this brings me to the next point. Not all of your projects are gonna be perfect and that's okay. I love most of my furniture builds, but there's some of them that I can consider like my biggest failure, even like after I fixed it. Do you remember that book stand that I made, you know, like for the yellow arch? I mean, that's literally one of my least favorite projects today. But you know what? I've learned to love my mistakes because they, taught me something and now the next time I'm gonna make the project I'm not gonna do the same uh, mistakes all over again. Well, that's great, right? Oh no. 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 It's okay. It's like probably better that it's bigger. <laughs> smaller because you can't expect every project to be a masterpiece especially when you're beginning so as i said in the previous point learn as you go you know like learn from your mistakes and every time with practice you're gonna get better and better and better and uh, at some point you're just gonna be hopefully a pro but this is actually a funny story because i remember one of my very very first furniture projects and i was like trying to make this bed jacquard i saw a lot of youtube videos when where people connect with pieces of wood together and they always were using wood glue and i'm like it's okay, I think I don't really need it. Like, why would I need the glue? You know, like, who cares about the glue? <laughs> well, 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 turns out uh, no one is too cool for the glue. So uh, yeah, my veggie card, it was kind of collapsing very, very soon. And uh, I, have to, I had to redo it. But since then, you know what, guess what? That was like a great lesson. And now I know that I should always use the wood glue. I mean, talking about those small little things that you learn as a beginner, you know? We all make mistakes, yes, and it's okay. The takeaway from this point is like, it's always better to try and be disappointed than never try at all. Just keep that in mind. Another thing that people make a mistake of is like they're too scared of power tools. And I'm here to tell you that yes, as much as power tools can be intimidating, but as soon as you follow simple rules, you're gonna be just okay. I'm not gonna be talking about the safety guide. You can read your manual for the, for the tools and find out what the rules are. But basically, if you follow the rules, everything should be fine. Just be careful, always be careful. So here's a fun, not so fun story. I forgot my first table saw like, a year and a half ago or something and I was so intimidated to try it. I already mastered like a miter saw, I already mastered like some small power tools, but the table saw was like really kind of like above my uh, professional level. Let's put it this way. I started building a workbench with a special place for a table saw in it. And during that build, I made like a crucial mistakes because I was not looking what I'm doing and I bread nailed my finger. Yes! My friends, it seems that I'm injured. I'm not sure what it happened, but I think the nail went through my finger and um, yeah, basically don't be like me. I have no idea how it happened, but I kind of feel that I just put my finger in the wrong place. I don't think I'm gonna do anything today anymore, but definitely a lesson learned. So that lesson taught me a lot, you know, like, and especially that uh, you have to be focused 100% when you are using the power tools and that you should always like watch your fingers when you're using the bread nail. By the way, bread nailer in the last year, you know, like from my least favorite to, you know, like became my 
one of my most favorite tools. So yeah, so things change, you know, like all the time. So to sum it up, use power tools with respect and uh, yeah, don't be intimidated. Basically move up on your advancity of your tool letter. Can you say that? <laughs> well, I hope you can because I just said that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these tips and here is the bonus point something that uh, took me like a lot of time to, to realize it's like never play the comparison game comparison game will just set you up for failure let's be honest I'm not the most skilled woodworker or DIYer in the industry and you know what I'm fine with that I mean there's like so many more like professional woodworkers you know like that excelled in their craftsmanship and they're making beautiful beautiful things when I just started my DIY journey I used to compare myself to them so much and I used to beat myself up for not being on their level I've learned to admire them but continue doing what I'm doing my journey is so different like from theirs, like your journey is different from mine and we're all making beautiful things. So the key here is just like to start making something, right? Take one step at a time and figure out as you go and I'm pretty sure it's gonna bring you so much joy because DIY is a lot of fun and uh, it actually involves a lot of self-exploration in a sense and uh, yes, it's a wonderful journey. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you get inspired to actually take on the DIY journey and please Please don't be scared because nothing is impossible. I'm sure you're gonna be great. Just go and do it! Yay! If you're new here and you're interested to learn more about what I do, then uh, watch my videos on woodworking and on some home decor and uh, yes, then you're gonna get an idea of the videos that I create that are my DIY journey. I hope this video is gonna inspire you on your beautiful DIY journey. Thanks so much for watching, guys! Mwah! I'll see you soon. Bye! So let's get started. So the <clears throat> so the <sighs> so let's get started. Uh, so the thing number one, and let's get started. And the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is this myth, you know, like that people think. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, <clears throat> I hope this as your. <clears throat> I've learned to admire.